It's been nearly three months since the U.S. and NATO forces began the air campaign against Libya's Muammar Gaddafi, and there's no end in sight. Many in Congress are running out of patience. Chip Reed has been working on this at the White House today. Well, Scott, near the end of the Vietnam War, Congress passed a law known as the War Powers Resolution, which essentially says that when a president sends troops overseas into battle, he's got to bring them home within 90 days unless he gets congressional authorization. And Sunday is the 90-day deadline for Libya. But now the White House has come out with a new report that says the War Powers Resolution doesn't even apply to Libya because the level of hostilities is not high enough to trigger the law. Well, some members of Congress say that argument is absurd. Here's Republican Speaker John Boehner. We're spending $10 million a day. Uh, we're part of an effort to drop uh, uh, bombs on Qaddafi's compounds. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I just, it doesn't pass a straight face test, in my view, uh, that we're not in the midst of hostilities. And, Scott, while there's plenty of debate in the U.S. Congress over in France and Britain, in their parliaments, there's very little opposition. Those are the two nations that are leading the charge in Libya. Thanks, Chip. We now have Alan Pizzi in Tripoli. And, Alan, I wonder, are they hearing about this debate in Washington? And if so, what's the reaction? Indeed, they are hearing it, Scott. In fact, they're listening to it with a great deal of interest because they think it plays to their agenda. In fact, the prime minister today said that uh, they were watching what Congress was doing with interest. I think the Libyan agenda is very much to just hang tough, stay in there and hope and wait, while the coalition, they think, may run out of ammunition. It certainly appears to be running out of cohesion. And I think they feel that as long as they can keep that going, they may well wear down NATO. You know, we wonder about Gaddafi. Is there any idea where he is at this point? No, there isn't. They seem to be going for what NATO keeps calling command and control structures. But what he may well be doing is hiding in plain sight. NATO is using bunker busters, so why would he live in a bunker? If he's out among the population, they can't get him without horrendous civilian casualties, the very thing that would split the coalition. And frankly, the Gaddafi regime probably wouldn't mind if there were a lot of civilian casualties. They use human shields already. Human shields, casualties, that suits them just fine, and it keeps NATO from finding Gaddafi. Thank you, Alan.